Do you enjoy our YouTube content? Do you wish there was more? Well, now there is. Patreon.com slash Powercast Network. There you will find, just starting at $5 a month, more access to podcasts, to shows, to other saves. Check it out today, everybody. That's Patreon.com slash Powercast Network. Welcome back, everybody, to the 1987 Supermod. I'm your host, as always, Brad Drake, and this is Championship Wrestling from Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are in Tampa, Florida at the Eddie Graham Sports Complex for the very first Eddie Graham Memorial Show. It is Saturday, week one of May 1987. Now, we took a gamble here to keep this match on a Saturday night with the hopes that maybe we might be able to have some of our big names. And as you can see, we're going to pretty much have nobody tonight. So, this is going to get interesting. Uh, we'll do our best to work around it and do the best we can. I'm not, frankly, with this many people out, I'm not really sure who is available. We're going to learn really quick here, though. Uh, also, Jim Crockett Promotions has signed a bunch of wrestlers and sent them to us, and they include Steve Lawler, Richard Sartan, Greg Evans, Brian Pillman, Boba Brazil Jr., Brian Adias, Kevin Vaughn, Tom Pritchard, Bart Baton, and Tony Anthony. Uh, we got a double check here of um, Tom Pritchard. I forgot to plug him in here. There's Tom Pritchard, bulky middleweight. He is also working heel, so that would put him here with the heels. Okay, so we plugged in all our new wrestlers. As you can see, we've got a few more people in the light heavyweight division, also known as the junior heavyweight division in Florida, and uh, it's interesting. Also, we have renamed uh, Boba Brazil Jr. to his WWA name of Calypso Jim. I happen to like that name better than Bobo Brazil Jr. So we need to fill up. We're at the big match here, the big card. So Graham Sports Complex. And we are in Tampa. May week one. Yes. All right. So we need to figure out our card and see who's actually available and who's here. So the best way to do this is to go to booking, add match, yes, I'm aware. And we got to see who the heck's available here. And as you can tell, there's not a whole lot of people that are available. Mike Rotundo, our Florida heavyweight champion, is not available. Mike Graham is available. Steve Kern is available. Manny Fernandez is available. Rick Rude is available. So there is our main event, everybody. There is our main event. We are going to have Graham and Kern versus Rude and Fernandez. Remember, Rude and Fernandez are the NWA World Tag Team Champions currently. Uh, obviously, the title is specific to its location. Um, it's not an alliance title, so we can't use the World Tag Team title. But we're going to pretend that that's the case here to try to make this as realistic as possible. So, uh, Ricky Morton is available. Robert Gibson is not available. The Barbarian. So this is, this is getting interesting here to fill out eight match card with everything that's left here. So, um, 
can definitely use Ricky Morton. We got Scott Hall, who is a good heel that Ricky Morton could wrestle that's available here. That'll be our semi main. Jimmy Garvin heel, Jimmy Garvin's baby face, okay? Barry Wyndham's a baby face. This is where it gets interesting, everybody, I'm telling you. Ron Simmons is a baby face. Okay, we are going to do, it's going to get tough, this is going to get really tough. Um, got Sting, got the Barbarian. Let's have Ricky Morton face Brian Pillman, but it's not going to be the semi-main. Semi-main is going to be the Barbarian versus, uh, why is his name escaping me? My brain sometimes. Barry Windham. There we go. Okay. Uh, so we'll need a second tag match here, at least. Um, so what tag teams do we have available? We have Adias and Vaughn which we are going to tag. In fact, we're going to put them in the game right now. Of course, Brian Adias and Ricky Vaughn are new to the territory. Both of them are former world-class wrestlers, so we will add them in the game. So we have available here Adias and Vaughn. Who else do we have available here, tag team wise? There's Steve Armstrong and Tracy Smothers. Okay, so we can do Adias and Vaughn versus Southern Boys. Yes. That'll work for us. I'm telling you folks, this is what I was afraid of. It's very difficult to run a save like this when you just don't know who you're going to have day to day. It's very difficult. All right, Tony Anthony, we're going to have him wrestle Bob Armstrong. And let's try to put that mid card here. All right, so what are some names that we have left here? I know the Tahitian Prince is on there. Let's have the Tahitian Prince wrestle Jimmy Garvin. All right, we're doing it. We're, do, we're not doing bad here at all, everybody. We're actually kind of making this happen. All right, so we need another heel. We can use Jimmy Valiant. And what do we have available here? Aaron's a baby face. All right, we are going to use the Rock and Roll Rebels in that tag match instead. And that is Sartan and Evans. And so this gives us a chance to split Adias and Vaughn. So let's have Ricky Vaughn wrestle Ron Simmons. Let's have Brian Adias wrestle Ron Simmons. And we can have Ricky Vaughn versus Jimmy Valiant in the opener. Let 
Now, let's see if we want to trade anybody out here so we can get Scott Hall on the card. Do I want to trade anybody out? Yeah, let's trade out. Ah, Bob Armstrong is a good hand. We're going to go with this card. We're going to run with it. All right. So, everybody, you can see the card. We just built it. So, with that said, let's get to checking our backstage incidents and then booking. <laughs> so, let's check our backstage incidents here. Vaughn and Basher got a problem. Stern warning. Scott Hall and Ricky Morton. Ah, Scott Hall was an hour late. And Spike was complaining. So we did have the mod squad available, but that's okay. So uh, our opener here is going to be Ricky Vaughn and Jimmy Valiant. 12 minutes. Ricky Vaughn, of course, was known under that name in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, he wrestled as Lance Von Erich with World Class, and things did not end too well between those. That was a relationship that went very sour very fast, and the Von Erichs did not hesitate to come clean about what happened and kind of bury Lance. So... Um, he bounced around in some indies, wrestled overseas, and then uh, he has a, he's actually got a pretty interesting story. I read his book called uh, Lance by Chance. If you can, give it a shot. Read it. It's very eye-opening into 80s wrestling and particularly world-class in the Pacific Northwest wrestling. I liked it. I thought it was a good book. He's an intelligent guy. He owns some gyms. He's lived in South Africa now for 30 years. Interesting guy, and it was an entertaining and very interesting read. So, uh, Ricky Vaughn's going to open up against Jimmy Valiant, the Boogie Woogie Man, and we're going to leave that one open ended. Next, we have the Rock and Roll Rebels, another ripoff of the Midnight uh, Rock and Roll Express, and they are going to face the Southern Boys. We're going to leave this one open-ended. The Southern Boys should get the win without a problem here. And next, we're going to have Brian Adias versus Ron Simmons. This one's going to go 14 minutes. There's Brian Adias. There is Ron Simmons. Got to see everybody, despite the heavy vacancies or... or uh, People booked in other places. I think we're putting on a heck of a show here. Uh, next, we're going to have Tony Anthony versus Bob Armstrong. And there is Bullet Bob. Always a great wrestler in the ring. So, so far, we're leaving all these open-ended. Um, looks like Tony Anthony's conditioning is not very good, so let's bump up Adias versus Simmons. Okay, next we have the Tahitian Prince and Jimmy Garvin, and they're going 16. And there is the Tahitian Prince. There's Jimmy Garvin. We're going to leave this one open-ended also. Why not? Oh, the Tahitian Prince doesn't have the wind either. So, that's not good. The Tahitian Prince is Samu. Samu could go. This is BS. He can't even go 12 minutes? Come on, Steve Kern. You're killing me here. Holy cow. What is this guy's stamina at? Oh my goodness, we're going to make that change. That's a load of crap right there.
All right, next, we have Pillman versus Morton. This one's going to go 18 minutes. Now, don't expect this to be a good match, because Brian Pillman's, he's not a rookie. He's darn close to it here. And of course, Ricky Morton's going to go over. And next, we're going to have the Barbarian versus Barry Windham. And there's Barb. There's Barry Windham. You know, Barb should definitely be managed by Oliver Humperdinck. That one's good to go now. Yeah. The only person Oliver Humperdinck is managing right now is the Barbarian. We'll make some changes on that. And next, the main event, we're going to have Graham and Kern versus Rudin Fernandez. And that, of course, is going to be for the NWA World Tag Team title. But we can't actually put the title on the line here. So we are going to have this one go 30. With the fake title on the line. And we're going to have Manny Fernandez win. It's going to be by cheating. Okay, we need a different road agent. We'll have Matsuda take care of this one. Yes, okay, so we're booked. Now, the Tahitian Prince should definitely be managed by Humperdinck. Uh, let's see who else is on the card. Why don't we have Tony Anthony also managed by Humperdinck? Makes sense. And in all fairness, Greg Evans and Richard Sartan need all the help they can get, too. We're going to have them managed by Hump. I always thought that was a great, great nickname, Hump. <laughs> I first heard that in a uh, shoot interview for Gary Hart where he referred to him as Hump. I liked it. Okay, let's see what our issues are here. I don't know why it says they don't have any announcers assigned, because they do. Oh, uh, what's-his-name must be um, unavailable. That's obviously what's going on. Uh, Gordon Soley. He's here. So why wouldn't he be announcing? No, he's working for Crockett. That's why he's not here. So we don't have any announcers for this one, everybody, but that's okay because it wouldn't have been on television anyway. All right, we're ready to go here with our Scrap Together Eddie Graham Memorial Show, and we're going to go ahead and get rolling here and see what we can make of this. All right, the opener gets a 47 as Jimmy Valiant beats Ricky Vaughn. Okay. And next... We have the Southern Boys get the win here, 51 overall, and I'll take it. Not bad at all. Evans and Sartan look good together. Next, we have Ron Simmons getting the win over Brian Adias. 
Very nice. 50 overall. Bob Armstrong beats Tony Anthony with a 57 overall. Jimmy Garvin gets the win over the Tahitian Prince using that 9-1-1. 50 overall. Uh, we got this match too short business. I'm going to have to get that changed up. I don't quite remember how. Every match is not going to be 20 minutes, everybody. All right. Ricky Morton gets the win here. Very nice. 62. It's kind of a crappy score there. And Barry Windham gets the win over the Barbarian. This is not a bad little card here for Florida. Look at that. The main event gets us an 81. Very nice. And we're going to finish up and see how we do here. The 76 overall, I'll take it. Not going to cut any speeches because I don't know the wrestlers good enough yet. We drew almost 1,800 people. Okay, we got to take a look at our product and find out what's going on there. Um, that's keeping our short matches from screwing up the stores. scores. Because we had that problem with the AWA originally too, and I was able to get that taken care of and fixed. So we'll have to take a look and see what's going on with that. Uh, this is going to take a little while to boot because this... Oh, there we go. Oh, no. They've sent us more people. Gordy wants a pay raise. Gordy gets a pay raise. Crockett's paying for it anyway. Not my problem. <laughs> All right, here we go. Scott Steiner has now been sent to us. Oh. What are we going to do with Scott Steiner? Make him a heel with his brother and Sting? Yeah, we're going to have to. Not going to say no to having Scott Steiner, that's for sure. So let's take a look at our roster here. Another heel. Scott Steiner. And now we have the Steiner brothers. We're going to get rid of Rick Steiner and Sting as a team. That's because we're going to have Sting turn babyface here. So let's go ahead and see what Scott Steiner's doing. Here's Sting. Let's do a prepare to turn. Okay. And there's Scott Steiner. We're going to have him be a heel with his brother. All right. That takes care of that. What do we got coming up next here? We have live event 33 in two days here. So like we said, we're going to try to actually run the real schedule here and see what we can do. And that's Tuesday, week two. It's going to be May, and then we'll pick our venue in town when we get there. So that's what we're dealing with. Let's plug in the Steiner brothers here. Sting and Rick Steiner are going to be inactive individuals. And we are going to add the Steiner brothers. And somehow the Steiner brothers aren't showing up. Because there they are. All right, that's going to do it for us here for every, uh, for this one, everybody. And like I told you when we were putting this, this save together, this is going to be very, very difficult to play because of the fact that we are a child company and we never know who's going to be available night to night. That's uh, the biggest, biggest challenge we have going. Why is Kevin Sullivan...
Did we make Kevin Sullivan the champion by accident? We did. We screwed up and made Kevin Sullivan the NWA Florida heavyweight champion. Oh, boy. Not good. <laughs> Not good at all. Uh, let's check the <laughs> let's check the contract here. I think we're losing Kevin Sullivan too, aren't we? You know, it doesn't really it doesn't it's not that big of a deal because in uh, Florida they had the title change all the time. So it's it's not the end of the world. Yeah, no, Kevin Sullivan didn't put any notice in. So we're okay for now. All right. We'll be back soon with this save, everybody. Not necessarily tomorrow, but we will be back. And that's going to do it for us here for today, everybody. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Give us a like and share this video with your friends. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 supermod you can join our community talk about your save we talk about our saves it's a good time and if you would like version 8 and you don't have it already please go to braddrake.net drop me a line i'll be more than happy to send you over a link to the database and the picture pack i do ask however if you get the save to please make a donation you could do that braddrake.net slash supermod and all of that money will go to the cauliflower ally club that helps take care of our aging veteran wrestlers who can no longer care for themselves. So, thank you everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.